two armies lay encamped, facing each other here on the hills of Judah. Young David could no longer bear the mocking and raging of the Philistines' champion and went to King Saul. Trusting in God, David went out to face Goliath, Israel's most feared enemy. David's only weapon was a simple sling. In the early 1900s, the land of Israel was desolate and empty, largely a desert. Centuries of abuse had robbed the land of its forests, vegetation, and natural beauty. In 1901, Karen Kayamet Le Israel Jewish National Fund was established and began raising money to purchase tracts of land throughout their ancient homeland. As the guardians of the land of promise, they have now planted over 250 million trees and developed the land in many other ways. KKL JNF also located, researched, and restored many of Israel's unique archaeological and historical sites. The land flowing with milk and honey is being restored to its former beauty. The British Park lies about 25 kilometers southwest of Jerusalem in the hills of Judah, originally given to the tribe of Dan. The park was planted and is cared for by KKL JNF. This beautiful force was developed with the support of thousands of donors from the United Kingdom. The forest borders the Valley of Elah. Archaeological evidence and biblical history confirm that this valley was once the scene of one of the most famous man-to-man -man fights in the history of humanity. It was here that the armies of the Philistines and Israel had their greatest showdown some 3,000 years ago. For 40 days, Goliath, a giant warrior from the Philistine town of Gath, had been openly taunting both the people of Israel and God. Eventually, Goliath saw God's anointed one, David, coming towards him. Baffled, he began to ridicule David. David replied, All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands. The young shepherd took one of five stones he had collected and used his sling to hurl it at Goliath. It struck the enemy in the head and he fell to the earth, fatally wounded. Taking Goliath's own colossal sword, David chopped off the giant's head. When the Philistines saw their hero had been killed by a teenager, they fled. David knew God was on his side, and that's why he had the courage in the Valley of Elah to face down a fully armed combatant some nine feet tall. He knew that with his God, he could defeat the giant standing opposite him. The Almighty used him and a simple stone to demonstrate that he is sovereign and trustworthy. Because David entrusted his life to God, God enabled David to conquer many more giants in the course of his life.